Hey everybody, what's going on? Buddy Blackford here with another Photoshop CS6 tutorial. And in this tutorial, we're going to learn how to use uh, blending modes and opacity with our adjustment layers. We're going to combine the use to create some stunning results. And you can use those also to uh, more finely tune and tweak your adjustment layers. So all you need for this tutorial is just to have an image and to have an adjustment layer. You can use one or three or 75. It's up to you. doesn't matter. Um, I wouldn't recommend 75 because that might get a little hairy. Um, anyways, let's uh, get on with it. So you can use blending modes with um, your adjustment layer. And the blending modes are here under this uh, drop down menu. Um, it'll start out saying normal and or you can uh, click on it and add some of these blending modes. Now, if you don't know what the blending modes do, I suggest you watch my uh, tutorial series, which is a it's a four part tutorial series because there are so many blending modes about the blending modes. And I explain all of it. And uh, it's right here. Um, tutorial 56 is uh, part one. And I go through every single blending mode and tell you what they do and show you what they do on top of a picture. All right. So check that out if you don't know what the blending modes do or just uh, experiment if you want to, but I would highly suggest knowing what the blending modes do so you can become more efficient with using Photoshop. So um, some of the uh, best blending modes to use with adjustment layers, and uh, keep in mind that these blending modes don't work with every single kind of adjustment layer, but they do help, is um, multiply, screen, hard mix, difference, and exclusion are uh, some of the like the most dramatic results so let's go ahead and change this to one of those so I have the adjustment layer selected and I'm gonna change the blending mode of the adjustment layer and I'm just gonna go to multiply and you can see what that does and uh, multiply it looks like it might have made this uh, image a little too dark so what I'm gonna do is come over here to my opacity and I'll just bring that down a little and you can see it, it uh, lays off the effect a little bit. So here is the image with the uh, blending mode multiply opacity at 55%. And here's it with the uh, blending mode and the adjustment layer basically completely off. So uh, that's all I had to do for that. Pretty cool. Now you can do this with your other uh, layers too. So let me turn on this layer here. And then I'll add something like, um, let's check out what, what's, I like these darkening ones. Let's check out uh, darken and see what that does. And you can see it just like, I guess it made it a little warmer uh, because that's what my uh, photo filter here is doing. So if I double click on the icon, I have a warming filter and it's orange. And uh, that just made this a little darker. So let's try something else, overlay made it really dark and contrasty it looks like so let's back off it a little bit and see if we, if we can get anything that we like I mean maybe that uh, blending mode doesn't work very well with this image now if I go to something like uh, exclusion or difference here it's probably gonna look weird because it's not used correctly but this is what uh, happens she so gets some nice blue teeth and uh, I mean Obviously, exclusion does not work well with this uh, filled with the uh, adjustment layer that I have picked. So, anyways, that's how you use the blending modes and opacity with your layers to create some nice results. Now, um, I, I would use this kind of stuff if I don't really want to go into here and start tweaking everything and all that stuff again. If I want to just have a quick reference here. Um, I don't have to go into any new menus. I can just change my blending mode or my opacity and uh, be done with it there. So it's quick and fast. So, and that's what I'm all about getting stuff done quickly and fast and um, making sure that you do it, do it right. So, um, if you get employed by someone and you're quick and you're fast and you get your stuff done correctly, you're going to be ahead of the pack. You're going to be ahead of the people that only know how to do it like slow ways. So, and I always found that really helpful and it helps you stand out at your job. So, 
another reason to use it. Maybe you're on a deadline and you and a client is uh, wants his project due in like an hour. And if you're fumbling around doing everything slowly, the slow way and everything like that, you might not make the deadline. So just um, remember how to do things uh, like this. And remember that Photoshop always has fast, uh, always has uh, different ways to do things. At least two ways for pretty much everything. So I'd like to thank you guys for uh, watching this uh, tutorial. It's uh, been pretty awesome. And in the uh, next tutorial that I'll be teaching, we're going to go over um, using masks with your adjustment layers. And that's these uh, white little boxes here. You can create masks with those. And that's what these hold. So uh, I look forward to seeing you guys at that tutorial. Hopefully it's pretty cool. You guys like it. And I'll see you then. Have a good one.